Once you've created your classes within Voces, you'll be able to add students either manually or with a CSV spreadsheet. For manual and CSV options, we'll start by clicking on the Teachers panel, then Class and Student Management. Once you have the class listed, you'll click on the class name, then click Add or View Students. From here, we'll have the option to do either a Quick Add or CSV. Quick Add is the same as the Manual Add, and that will let you just type in the first and last name of the student along with the user ID. If you leave that user ID portion blank, the system will assign an ID to the student. I'll just start with Jane Doe and then click Add Student. You can see that adds the student to the list. Now with the CSV, we'll go ahead and click CSV Add. Again, this is if you have a spreadsheet of your students' names. You'll need a spreadsheet with three columns, one for first name, one for last name, and a third for user ID if you choose to assign a user ID for your students. Again, if you leave that blank, the system will create a user ID for the students. You'll also want to make sure your students' names are on one line, so it'll go uh, just one student per line of the spreadsheet. We do have an option to download a template here, so that can help you get started if you don't already have a spreadsheet. If you do have a Google Sheet or uh, an Excel document, you'll want to make sure you save that as a CSV before proceeding. Once we have our spreadsheet ready to go, we'll click on Step 2. That will take us to Choose Our Spreadsheet File. I'll click Choose File. From here, I'm going to choose third hour students, but you'll choose whatever your spreadsheet is titled. You'll wanna make sure that if you did include a title on your spreadsheet, so a row that has the column names, check that box there. You'll also wanna make sure that the columns match the order listed here. If your last name is in the first column, you'll wanna change that um, so that they match. I'm going to leave mine because they are in that order. And then I'll click step three. Step three will allow me to preview the students so I can see that the first name, last name, and user ID are listed. All three of those are listed on my spreadsheet. If you've left user ID blank, it will still be blank um, here in the, in the preview. We will then go ahead and either click finalize or go back to step two, make changes to our spreadsheet and then um, upload it again. If everything is good though, we'll click finalize. You can see here that five students were successfully created. And once I refresh my student list, I will see all of those students listed. Where before I only had five students, I now have 10. Once you've added students, either through the manual or quick add or through the CSV, you can choose ID cards. That option will open up a new tab which will allow you to um, print and hand out the ID cards in person. Of course, if we are virtual or if we're sending those via email, we have the option for the ID email list. That also will open up a new tab with easy copy paste um, I email templates for each student. You will still need to email those manually outside of Voces, but it's very simple to do um, once you've added the students. You'll see some other options here, and to learn more about different ways you can manage your students in Voces, please see our video titled Class and Student Management. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or email us at info at